What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. What is going to happen on this stream? I have no idea. I am super pumped. We've got a lot of things to talk about. We got a lot of things to do. We have some money to give away courtesy of Sim Wings support. Man, for those that don't know the Sim Wings project, we'll talk a little bit about it as we get up in the cruise and as we continue to fly. But uh, Dougal McTavish was the one who spearheaded the operation, got it started, got it off the ground figuratively and literally, and was able to provide some PCs to, uh, I think, four, uh, four complete PCs to those in the community. Uh, it's just a totally awesome, awesome project that is now coming down to a close. Ironically, when we first launched, Launched the project, or when Dougal first launched the project, we did the first stream here in a 757, or I'm sorry, in the 320, going from Cancun down to Tonkanton. Now we are going to return back to Cancun, giving away $500 along the way. We're doing five $100 uh, giveaways throughout the course of the stream, and. I didn't even think about it. Nobody warned me. There's a freaking hurricane in Cancun right now. Hurricane Grace is sitting over the top of Cancun, and we're at a 727 old school, no FMS, no INS. We're going to be tracking VOR radials. We're going to have to do a full-blown ILS with a procedure turn on our approach and landing into Cancun. So we got a full action pack stream. I hope you guys are ready to go and ready to get some flying here. Dougal McTavish is going to be um, given some information throughout the stream of like when uh, for the winners who who win. Oops, sorry, I was trying to set up my chair here. So you'll have to DM him directly for more information. I will do the uh, giveaways here with the Nightbot plugin, so it's completely randomized. I don't have my hand in it. It's just all you have to do is enter the code word, and then you'll enter it for the giveaway. Now. 
The Simwings team members are the only ones that are not eligible to participate. But if you're a mod sponsor, it doesn't matter. You're eligible to participate just as long as you're not uh, part of the Simwings program itself. So other than that, everyone else is eligible. It should be a lot of fun. We're going to do five giveaways. I'm going to do one on the ground. We'll do a pre-flight. As soon as we get ready to start up, we'll give away one. Then we're going to give away one for takeoff. We'll give away two in cruise. And then we'll give away one on a landing. So that's the order we're going to be, be doing this giveaway. Right now, let's get the airplane set up first. So we're going to jump into the cockpit here. I'm going to get the airplane set up, kind of make sure everything is ready to go. And then we're going to start with our first test. Well, it won't be a test giveaway, but it'll be our first official giveaway coming at you from Simwings. I love this livery. This is one juicy livery here. The gray and yellow. I, I really love gray and yellow. I'm not a yellow fan. I don't, you know, I don't really like yellow in general. Oh, look at the Spirit 321 just loaded in. Beautiful. Burger King in the background. Church's chicken. Love the scenery, Dimitri. But gray and yellow just looks awesome together. I mean, it's rough but just it looks awesome I love this here we got the logos we got v1 XP q8 pilot shack uh, is that two-tone Murphy I so I'm not um, I'm not very good with with seeing other uh, with other logos but awesome stuff here so here we go Andre Henry what's going on Aaron Hastings Christian commander Gina Hoffman what's going on good to see you Wojtek good to see you as well Blue Bear good to see you my friend Niels Christian Shin what's up man part-time PC pilot Dimitri Christian what's going on Fort George always good to see you here in the house Captain K awesome to see you here man Captain K hope you're doing well my friend Diego Bombasso fixing things for you awesome good to see everybody here Benny Benny welcome to the stream as well all right so Let's get this airplane started up, cold and dark. I'm going to have to go through my, my regime here, so I'm trying not to ignore you, but we got a couple things we got to set up, and then we're going to be, I'll be able to interact a little bit more. You guys know this airplane is kind of a beast to set up. So first things first, let's head over here. Let's go ahead and get the battery switch on. It's going to come to life. From there, I'm going to go ground cart, plug in the GPU. Get that plugged in there. Hopefully the audio is gonna be okay. So we got that set up. So now we're gonna go external power here and all the way around to external power there. That looks good. We can turn our galley power on as well. Come back over here, emergency lights. We will arm them and we're gonna go nav lights on, logo lights on. And I have a feeling that I'm not, there we go, external power online, there we go, I, I knew I was missing a switch there. Now we've got our brought to life cooling doors, we're going to go full open on the cooling doors on the ground here, so let's go ahead and get these opened up. Jeremy Harvey, what's going on? Love two streams in a row? Awesome, man, glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, I had, uh, this is my one official day off, and I didn't want to let it go to waste, so we're going to stream today. We streamed yesterday, I'm off to work tomorrow for another couple of days. All right, so one, two, we can go ahead and open these bleeds in preparation for engine start. And also we can open these. We'll leave the packs off for now. That looks good there. We're gonna come down this here. Galley power is on. Do we need this light here? I'm gonna brighten it up just a little bit. Our cruise altitude is gonna be three, five, zero. We got that set. Landing altitude is staying near sea level. <laughs> Looked to your left because you heard the engine running as the GPU. Yes, sir. All right. Rex. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. I totally. F ah, I can't believe I forgot. The, I have a couple new emoji slots that we got to plug in here. And I got the uh, Kawada Monday salute emoji we got to get in uh, for those that aren't familiar from my podcast series. All right. That is good. Fuel pumps are off right now. Hydraulics are off. That's fine. Let's come back over here. Let's do a stall warning test. <laughs> Flight recorder test, that looks good. Checking our light bulbs here. Overheat test. Uh, check our bulbs here, because bulbs can burn out on this airplane. Let's come all the way down. Fast as seatbelts can come on, no smoking can come on. Checking all my bulbs here. Propeats can stay off for right now. We don't need any dome lights. Uh, since we are in Vatsum, we'll just go TARA straight away on the uh, 2000. Everything else looks good on this panel. Come down here, we'll go ahead and close that. I don't, we don't need all this lighting right here, do we? Let's go ahead and 
Uh, maybe we do. Can we go uh, fluorescent light? Let's go flood panel on. What does that look like? That looks better. I like that flood panel. So I have the time of day set off a little bit. So we have a little bit more of a sunset arrival, but we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and turn the radar off here at the gate. We don't need to be frying the ground crew down there. Look at this, no nav option. So we have to set up our own situation here. So our gate fuel is 19 thou. Let's go ahead and load the aircraft right now. So total fuel on board. We can drop that down. Uh, because there's a hurricane and we might have to do a missed approach, I'm going to take some extra gas. So. What do you say we take 2,100 pounds of gas? Let's take a full load of passengers. Since Sim Wings is a complete project, we're gonna go full passengers, we'll go random cargo. Oh boy, that's gonna overload us. Uh, let me shrink some of that down a little bit. 154 max landing. We're gonna have to get rid of some gas. There we go, just under max weight. Look at that, 7,000 across the board. I like that, triple sevens, that's a good number. Well, Dimitri, if you wanted to see a fully loaded 727 at max landing weight, do a full procedure ILS, I think it's going to be coming right down the pipe. Right now, our max takeoff is 184. Gross weight is 154, so we're three. We're good. We're good for that. We've got fuel. We got a full load of first class and economy class passengers on the Sim Wings Bird. Awesome. Now we're going to have to set up some of our radios, and how we're going to do that. Casey, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Excited? Excellent. I am excited too. I'm going to load up my chart here. Not this one. So I loaded a VATSIM chart and then I realized that I didn't really like the route it was taking me. So we, I, pull, I downloaded this nav log from Sky Vector. And basically what's going to happen is there's no non-RNAV departure in Ton Cotton here. So if I go back departure, the only ones they have, these are all RNP departures. So we can't technically fly them. So we're gonna illegally depart VFR, and then we're gonna intercept this Bonito radial and head to Bonito, and then we're gonna go up the uh, water from there. So 13.5 is what we need here in the nav. So I'm gonna set 13.5 in the active. I'm also gonna set it in the standby. And if for some reason, yeah, well, we'll just keep 13.5. That's all we need. Uh, Ton Cotton VOR. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set that one up, too, just so I have DME to the base airport. I'm going to put that on NAV 2, just so I have a position awareness for my departure. So NAV 2, DME 2, if we get lost or, or disoriented on this departure, at least I'll have some type of DME reference to the uh, airport that we just took off from. All right. So that is good there. Papa Tango coming in with a $5 donation. Thank you so much for the, uh, the support, my friend. He says, hi, everyone. How come YouTube Super Chat is broken? I was not aware that the YouTube Super Chat is broken. I'm glad you and all the passengers and crew survived that uh, V-Spirit flight. I'm glad you didn't get listed as probable cause uh, and for the NTSB. How do I become a member? Papa Tango, I'm sorry. I don't know why the... Uh I don't know why the Super Chat's not working. I was not aware of that, but I appreciate your support. How you become a member, there should be a join button below the stream there. Now, if you're on watching on mobile, I think it may be dependent on what type of device you're watching on. I think you may have to watch from a computer. Maybe someone in chat knows the difference, but there should be a join button somewhere along the video, by the bottom of the video there where it says subscribe. But I appreciate your support. Thank you, sir. All right, here we go. Let's go active sky. What's my briefing departure METAR? 090 at six, 30 odd six in the altimeters. 30 odd six is set, 30 odd six is set. Like I said, no ATC, so we're gonna set our top altitude to 330 right off the bat. That's what I set on the panel back here, didn't I? Oh, I set 350. So let's come back. We're gonna set 350 on that panel there. James Monk says, I almost missed this watching the end of yesterday. So much V1, so little time. James, well, welcome to the stream, man. Thank you. All right, right now we don't have any course because we're sitting down here in the valley. But what I want to track eventually is direct to BTO, which is the 013 radial inbound. So I'm going to just go ahead and set my course 013. Hopefully, once we get airborne, we will see some type of signal pop up here. Now for departure, we're gonna be departing off of runway 
2020. And if I look at the departure procedure, the RNAV, they basically want you almost going straight north. So I'm going to set my heading bug to make a slight left turn to avoid the terrain over here. So I'm going to kind of heading bug an RNP departure, which is something you definitely never want to do in real life. But we're in the 727 in X-Plane, so we got to do what we got to do. So I got 360 set there. I've got the uh, VOR tuned already. I've got the Tonkant VOR tuned and ID'd. I think the last couple things we need to do is fire up the APU, cool down the airplane, and do a test giveaway. What do you say? Gustavo, you bring up a great point. What do we have for cruise altitude? Optimum altitude 346. You're absolutely right, Gustavo. Good, good catch. We're going to drop this down. Let's make it 330. Let's make our top altitude 330. Actually, let's make it let's go 310. Make it 310. 310, the APU is spooling up. Let's get our fuel pumps online. I don't know the hydraulic procedures for pushback, but we're going to go hydraulic system B on, electric pump 1 and 2 on. It sounds like our APU is on the line. Not quite. Got to wait for the ITT to roll back here. The Real Life Vlog joined the channel. Welcome to Private Pilot Real Life. I appreciate it. There's our rollback. There we go. Now we got our GPU online. So now we're going to go external power is off. Our galley power is still on. Let's change source to APU. And APU is set. I thought yeah, you don't have to. Those are only for the gens off the engines. I remember watching some stream of a real 7.2 startup. Maybe he was adjusting the frequency. Anyway, that looks good for right now. I think we should do a, uh, a giveaway. What do you say? Let's hop outside. We've got our beautiful Simwing support aircraft. We'll get rid of the ground cart. We don't have to listen to him. Let's do a uh, let's do a Simwings giveaway. All right. So the word is going to be. Let's pull it up here. All right, the key word, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a Dougal, exclamation point a Dougal in chat. If you want to be enrolled to the very first giveaway, exclamation point a Dougal. Papa Tango became a member. Papa Tango, thank you for becoming a, a member of the channel. I appreciate that, sir. Welcome aboard. Exclamation point welcome for more information on your new perks here at the channel. I do offer a shorts video series, podcasts, a little other, some other content as well for members. But thank you for your support. I appreciate that. While you guys catch up, I'm going to see if I can get some air conditioning on this bad boy right here. So exclamation point D-O-U-G-A-L, just like how he spells it. <laughs> just how Dougal's name is, D-O-U-G-A-L. We gotta cool down this airplane a little bit. Aft cabin is almost 30C, forward cabin, yeah, we gotta cool her down. Remember, please only enter one time. It doesn't affect your chances by if you type it two or three times. All it does is just spam the chat. Nobody likes that. up to a hundred eligible users the real life vlog has super chatted five dollars 
I didn't see. Oh, I had to scroll back up because all the Dougal. Thank you so much, uh, John Charles. I appreciate your support. Five dollars says you're number one. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Jeremy Harvey. No, they are not case sensitive. They are not case sensitive. All right. So what we're gonna do? Donation. Donation. <laughs> Rand Cool, coming in with a $20 donation. I appreciate it, Rand. Hey, Rand, I got a little... Well, I don't know if you can hear it. He says, I know you're busy, but time to try Woodford Reserve Bourbon. It's out of Kentucky. Very good. You will need it after flying out of this hurricane. Hey, Rand Cool, Woodford Reserve, that's my go-to, my friend. That's my number one. I'm actually a Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. The Double Oaked is my go-to. Good stuff. Straight out of Kentucky. That's where my brother-in-law's from as well. So I appreciate your support, Rand Cool. Thank you so much, my friend. All right, here we go. We're going to roll this. The first winner is, let me pull it back up, going to be Aaron Hastings. Ladies and gentlemen, our first <laughs> winner is Aaron Hastings has won the giveaway. Aaron, all you got to do is let us know that you're here in chat. And then Dougal is going to have some information for you. For the giveaway, you're going to message him directly on Discord, and he's going to give you the information that you need to collect your giveaway. Congratulations, Aaron Hastings, the first Simwings giveaway recipient. As we give back to the give back to the community, all courtesy of Simwings. While you guys are doing that, let me pull up my speed card here. We're going to do takeoff. We're going to do a flaps 15 takeoff, set bugs. There you go. Dougal McTavish has the information. Giveaway winners to DM, DM him directly or email supplying your YouTube, Discord names, and valid email. So congratulations, Aaron Hastings, on your first on the winaway. <laughs> he says, whoo, I never win these things. Awesome, Aaron. I, I feel that way too, man. I never win giveaways whenever I participate. But hey, you changed your luck now. Congratulations, sir. All right, I'm going to run through a B4 start checklist. If battery's on, ground power is off, stall warning check, the emergency lights are on, passenger signs are on, window heat. Let's go ahead and turn on our window heat. Window heat is on. Radio radar transponder is set TARA 2000. Parking brake is set, APU has been started. Engine start checklist. Beacon is going to come on. Galley power. We're turning it off. No coffee now for the until we get the. Uh, <laughs> the GR says in the spirit of flight deck to sim hashtag rigged. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, galley power is off. Packs off. So we're going to go left pack. Right pack off. Bleed pressure, 30 PSI, it's on the rise. Bleed valves are open, check. We're ready to start. On the 727, ladies and gentlemen, we do not do pushbacks, we do power backs only. So let me close this aft, aft air stair door. It is on the close, beautiful. You're too heavy for a 7,000 foot runway? Uh oh, are we too heavy? I'm going to check our weight and balance again here. We're, we'll make it work. I wish it told you our gross weight is 154 right now. I don't have any takeoff data performance. Let's try flaps 20 then. How about that? We'll do a flaps 20 takeoff. Subscriber. God help us Look if we lose up. an engine. But we're already doing illegal things here. So we got uh, 124, 124. I wish it told you your takeoff distance. Subscriber ahead. Look up. We're going to figure out if we can do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and fire them up, guys. We're going to start one, three, and then two. So let's go ahead and ground engine one. Start valve is open. I know it got real blurry there. And percent RPM is on the rise. Subscriber ahead. 20%. Up. Introduce fuel. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're doing. <laughs> just add more flaps. Weight is fine. Yeah, this is totally a non. Uh, this is not in a t tutorial by any means on how to properly operate the 727 at high gross weights and altitudes. Blue Bear, we never unload the bourbon, my friend. This bourbon is ride or die. All right, low oil light is out. We'll go ahead and start engine number three now. Grounding three. RPM is on the rise. Oh yeah, we're doing the power back. Flaps 20 full yoga. Oh yeah, we'll do it. Hopefully we get airborne. There's our... Monitor the light off. N1 is on the rise. Here's our exhaust temp on the rise. If somebody has proper flap settings <laughs> and EPR settings for the 727-200 at a 7,000 foot runway, that would be appreciated. Our gross weight is, uh, but I don't think we can even do that. Uh, this says this only goes to 20. I don't know if you can take off flaps 25. Low oil light is out for number three. So now let's do our final start. We're gonna ground engine number two. Verify the start valve is open. Back to our panel. Temperatures are on the rise and one is on the, I'm sorry, not temperature, the uh, N2 is on the rise. Omar says, do you prefer the 7.3 or 7.2? I have the 7.3 and get jealous of the 7.2. So Omar, I was the opposite. I had the 7.2 because I, that was, it's my favorite commercial jet. And then I was jealous of the 7.3. So I got both. There's, they are both extremely fun airplanes to fly. They're completely different in how they fly. I mean, pretty similar systems. I mean, it's very, you know, the, the cockpits look a little bit similar, especially the, you know, the engines and how you start engines. Well, maybe not how you start engines, but... Um, Man, maybe they're not that similar. Maybe I've had too much bourbon. I don't know. Hey, all I can say is they're both really good airplanes. Oh, no. Did I forget to introduce fuel? I did. Oh, boy. Abort start. Abort start. We got to come back up top here. Off. It's an off. I totally got to talking there. Let's let it recover. I hope I didn't just screw up my engines. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. Grounding two, start valve is open. I gotta remember to introduce fuel, guys. All right, we're over 20%. Let's go ahead and go fuel. Light off the picture, we're not on fire. Subscribe up ahead, look up. Got a Spirit 321 starting up behind us. Flap 25 for yoga. <laughs> Omar, so, I, I don't know what this, uh, my best advice would be, you gotta get both. They're both a lot of fun to fly. Flaps 25 is normal. Use 20 of them, but flaps 25 is the norm. <laughs> you can take off with any flap you like. There's no ECAM. <laughs> Chase, did I fly the 7-2 professionally? No, sir. I wish I did. Uh, that's one airplane I absolutely wish I could have flown professionally, but I did not. All right. We've got three good starts. I'm going to get our packs online. Start cooling them down. We'll go ahead and get our... Generators online. One, three, two. Generator one. One, two, and three. That looks good there. We can go ahead and shut off the APU. Cabin temperatures have come down about 20. Oh, still a little bit warm. That's because we just started engines. Let's go Gasper fan on. We're still full open on the cooling doors. And we go galley power back online. All right, let's take a look at our checklist here. Anti says required pitot heat on. Flight instruments are set for departure. Flight controls check, speed breakdown, stab trim. Set for takeoff. Uh, that's where we're going to hold it there until we do our pushback. We're going to leave our flaps up. Gustavo says flaps 20, B2, plus 10, select 15. 160, plus flat 5, 193. 2. Climb 250, 378. Hmm. V2, 
E2 plus 10 for flaps 20. So according to this, our V2 is 124, so we're going to set 134 initially then. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this at 250. I'm going to bump you down 134, 180. There we go. 160 flaps 5 so 160 flaps 5 and then I'll clean it up from there all right that should be good what does the Gasper fan do um, they're actually pretty annoying in real life if you ever hear them but they kind of they take it allows pressure to build up and then it releases that into the that through the ventilation system all right so that's good let's go ahead and disconnect the jet bridge let's go well, I thought that would disconnect I need you to go away. Let's go, Sam. There we go. Well, that works. All right, are you guys ready for a power back? Kyle says you give me enough room for a, a power back. All right, awesome deal. All right, so the number one rule to a power back is do not step on the brakes. Here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Watch your ears if you're a headphone user. The final Sim Wings ride is underway. nose wheel steering. Stand by. Oh, you know what? Hydraulics, guys. Subscriber ahead. Look up. Duh. There we go. Let's go ahead and get back a little bit further. Let's see if we can turn the nose now. Should be enough. Forward thrust. Perfect. We'll go ahead and stop it there. We'll set the brakes. I don't know why that spoil brake keeps coming down. We'll reset you. We're going to go flaps 15 or 20. So that's going to be one, two, three, four clicks. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Quasimodo. I didn't see that message until just then. I apologize, man. I got to, uh, Dougal, if you're... I don't want to open Discord. I've had some issues with Discord, so... If you need anything else from me, I'm going to have my phone open. Uh, if you need to DM me for any information, or if you just want to let me know when something has been complete, if you're ready for the next giveaway, then I'll be able to, uh, to just keep track of it that way. So I got my phone running Discord. All right, flaps 20 is a set. All right, stab trim, flap set, for galley power is uh, back online. Electrical, no lights, fuel heats are off. Hydraulics, huh? <laughs> pressure and quantity, check. APU is off, pressure set for cruise altitude, 310. Flight ground switch to flight. Number two bleeds closed. So number two bleeds are closed. EPR and airspeed bugs are set. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to finish the Sim Wings flight? Here we go.
man, we are heavy. The amount of breakaway thrust I have to use to get rolling is kind of making me sketched out for this departure. I'm not going to lie. That's just awesome. That is that is awesome. The 727 is just epic. Probably should have made a radio call. Uh, oh, I don't even have my... Where's my push to talk? Where's my radios on this bad boy? I think it's set to cabin. I'll have to change that up here. Dougal, you're ready for the next one? All right, good. So what we're going to do, we did our pre-flight. As soon as we go flaps clean, when we clean it up, we're in a climb out. We'll do our next giveaway. Actually, wait, so we did once. We got four more, right? So we got takeoff, cruise, descent. So we're doing two and cruise, that's right. Those are some serious slats. I know, I know, Rex. The slats on the, the seven tours, my view, this one here. This is probably one of my favorite views. Just seeing these huge leading edge devices. I gotta figure out why my radio is not I'm on COM one. Hmm. We're going to have to do a 180 turn on the runway, I believe. We'll go ahead and turn our weather radar on now as we get ready to take the runway. All right, clear for takeoff. We're going to hold the checklist there. Taxi light can come off just for momentarily. Set the parking brake. Let me figure out my radios here real quick. We are on COM1, 22.8. We are on VHF1. So let me check my binding in this here. Set new binding, close. Oh, well now I'm hot miking. There we go. Now I got it fixed. It was an issue on my bindings. All right. Tonkan traffic. Sim wings. 357 going to be uh, lining up runway uh, 20. Uh, Tonkan. Or is it runway 2? Runway 2, I think. Close enough. All right. Final looks clear. Let's go ahead and light it up. Let's guard the switches. 1, 2, and 3. Transponders on altitude, start switches are guarded, landing lights on, auto pack, trim, norm cutout. Norm check. Pull the takeoff card out. Eper is uh, 2.08 is what we got set. All right, now I need to get in the cockpit here because we have to do a, a swing schwang over here. Turn this puppy around, 180 on the runway. So we got 23, 23, I think we'll be all right. At 2.08 Eper is set across the board. All right, here we go. We got to make a 180 on the. Run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat because number one, it's cool to see this. Number two, I don't 
don't like trying to make a 180 without track IR or some type of view device. All right, let's go ahead and spin it here. Swing, baby, swing. Tonkan traffic, Simwings 357 will be departing runway 20 out to the north. Tonkan. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah, backtrack on 20. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna spool them up 50%. Now, I'm gonna leave the audio where it is. So if you're a headphone user, I'm gonna do a flyby view right after rotation. And it's probably gonna be deafening, so just be ready for that. But that's part of flying the 727 that I love. So here we go. I'm gonna need maximum yogas in chat. We're gonna stabilize the engines at 50%. I'm going to set them from inside because I don't want to blow the engines on this departure roll. Static. Release the brakes. Two point zero eight on the Eper is. Oh, watch those temps set. I'm going maximum that I can set here. Get in the way. Let's do a flyby. And if you don't love that, you don't love aviation. All right, here we go. Approaching V1. V1, rotate. Up we go. Those trees are getting awful big, my friends. Those trees are getting awful big. Gosh. We made it. Oh my god, did you see those trees? Gotta lower the nose a little bit here. I'm gonna go up the valley here, 360. Flaps 15. One sixty flaps five. Now she's starting to climb out. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. <laughs> All right, let's start working that back down to 92%. Flaps 2. I love the flap sounds on the 727. She's so quiet on the inside, which is nice. Oh yeah, she's flying now. Getting that trip set. We're doing a no-flight director takeoff too, by the way, if I didn't mention that. All right, power's coming back to 92%. About 1.9 on the Eper. 200 on the speed. Let's clean it up. Flap zero. And let's get one more flyby here. That's amazing. All right, we still haven't picked up any DME. That's okay, we probably need to get up above 11,000. So we're gonna continue on this heading of 360. I'm gonna slowly start pitching for 250 knots. I'm gonna get the flight directors ready to go here. I'm gonna go heading mode. Seems to be about five degrees, seems to be right where she wants to be. I'm gonna keep it in vertical speed mode. I don't even want to turn the autopilot on yet. She's hand flying so nice. Look at those clouds up there. Let's stay on the heading of about 360 though. All right. 
<laughs> Demetri says I need to move those trees further out. I don't know, man. That was a lot of fun. I don't know where they are in real life. Hey, it looks like we finally picked up our DME. There we go. So now we're going to turn to it. Let's go nav. So now I'm going to have the flight director go into the nav position where we can track that inbound. Was a 013. So we actually need to correct a little bit back. And I'm going to work this speed knob back right about there. And I think we'll go ahead and hand the airplane over to the autopilot. Let's go autopilot on, nav loc, IAS hold. There's 10,000 feet. Let's keep it accelerating. We'll kill the lights. Nav stays on, wing can come off, logo can come off, another flyby. The sounds on this airplane are amazing. <laughs> Sam says, Tree, I'd like a 727 haircut. No more. Look at that shot coming out of there. That is cool. All right. Let me just make sure we're on course, and then we're going to do another giveaway, guys. All right. So we are flight director VOR loc. Autopilot is in VOR loc. Well, so it's VOR mode. We're tracking the 013 inbound. we got 86 miles to go. I'm going to go ahead. I need to get up to about 270 knots. So theoretically, what I should do is go vertical speed hold here. And now I can scroll this up to 270. Verify our thrust is at 92. We're looking good. I'm going to lower that vertical speed just a little bit. Maybe about 1,000 feet per minute. Let's do a checklist. After takeoff, seatbelt switch is on for right now. Anti-ice is closed. Gear is up and off. Flaps up, no lights. Auto pack trim or auto pack switch is cut out. Hydraulic pressure and quantity and pressurization. All right, pressurization. We are climbing. Cabin is climbing. That looks good. And our hydraulics, oils are good. And hydraulic quantity is good. Uh, Dimitri, in the climb out. So right now I'm going to go IAS hold. So. I'm trying to smooth my climb out. So yes, I love the IAS hold for the climb out, but what the problem right there, Demetrius, if I'm at 200 and, let's say I was at a, what, like 220 knots, right? And I want to climb out at 270. If I were to just go immediately to IAS hold and scroll the bug up to 270, this airplane, and I can't confirm if this is true in real life, I've seen this behavior on very rudimentary autopilots like in Piper Chieftains and Navajos, but the airplane will then prioritize the speed and will actually nose over and run that trim full forward, and you'll actually start descending while trying to reach your indicated airspeed, and then it will run the trim back and try to climb. So to avoid that, I wanted to go into vertical speed first because my power is fixed right now. I'm set at 92%, so I, want to, I can't change my power anymore. So what I can change is that vertical speed. If I lower that vertical speed manually, then I can set my speed bug and let it come up nice and slow without throttle jockey in the airplane or, or making a roller coaster for the passengers in the back. So that's why I did that vertical speed initially before going to IAS hold. But we're good. We're IAS hold. Do we need this dome light anymore? Eh, it's kind of nice. Should we go dome light or? Yeah, let's go dome light. We just flew into some clouds. We're climbing out. We're looking all right. All right, I think everything is good right now. Let's hop back here. Let's get ready for another giveaway, shall we? <laughs> Slam, yeah. The IAS and vertical speed battle rages. Here we go. It's just, I, I'm trying to be as smooth as I can with the transition between IAS and vertical speed. So that's why I did that. It would be much easier to manipulate if you had the controls like physically a vertical speed wheel and IAS, you know, instead of trying to mouse click around. But. Uh, Gustavo says the 7.2 Spare God Pilot didn't have speed mode originally. You would only control pitch for speed. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, Gustavo. Yeah, I'm not sure that this might be a little bit more modern autopilot. 
All right, here we go. We're gonna do another giveaway, shall we? We're in the climb phase, so we got a climb giveaway. So the next giveaway is gonna be a new word. It's gonna be a new word so we don't have uh, different members. And the next word, let me go ahead and go back here. All right, so that one has been taken care of. <laughs> I just saw your old message, Aaron, says thanks. Thanks for rigging that. Woodford Reserve Double Oaked is in the mail. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to close that giveaway. It's been removed. All right, the next keyword is going to be... Let me think about it here. I have a word that's in my head, and I can't think of it. I can't speak it. It drives me nuts when this happens. All right, well, instead of that, we'll do the next word is going to be kindness, K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S. -S. So exclamation point kindness, because I think the world needs some more kindness. Simwings and Dougal and everybody who's been involved with the Simwings project, uh, it was a very kind thing to do. So the exclamation point kindness is coming on is the keyword. There you go. It is not case sensitive. As you guys go ahead and roll that in. If you are unaware why we're uh, why we're doing these giveaways and then like what what is Sim Wings? And essentially, what Dougal's he came up with an idea. What a year ago? Two years ago? I, I don't even remember. What, surely it was two years ago. It's probably a year ago, right? To find a way to take generous offerings from people in the community and find a way to channel those donations into getting people who are passionate about aviation and flight sim but are just aren't in a financial position or maybe they're just not in a position in their life where they can can get involved in simming or streaming but they're extremely passionate about it and they interact on YouTube and they, they interact with other streamers so he thought that it would be a good idea and a great idea to be able to find a way to channel some of the, the donations from the community and create PCs. They selected winners. They delivered PCs. They, 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 and in the world of COVID, I mean, imagine how difficult the technicalities are of that, of trying to build a PC, ship it to parts all over the world. Uh, just the amount of logistics that went into that is... Um, pretty incredible and I, you know I don't take any credit for it I, I was able to do the first stream and then a lot happened with with my situation at home but I I always wanted to support Dougal in his endeavors and I knew if anybody could do it it would be Dougal so awesome awesome project I consider it a, a full success and so now what's happening is those remaining donations wasn't quite enough to get a, the last PC completely built and rigged and with COVID and all the regulations now about shipping international it was easier to just kind of wind the project down and, and give back those those contributions back to the community back to you guys so there have been several streams over the last week or so uh, QA pilot did one the XP did one basically all the members you see on the or all the people you see on the livery so they're giving back those donations as they wind it down absolute legend I agree miss jungles world definitely needs more people like Google. So looks like everyone is pretty much enrolled here. Let's see what we got. We got 155 eligible as of right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the explain the volume here as we go outside. So this might be an ear blast, so just hang on. Not too bad. Hopefully that's not too bad. All right. Are you guys ready? We'll let it roll. We'll let it go a little bit more here. There's, people are still rolling in. I'm keeping, I'm counting the, uh, 
Oh yeah, set standard. I'll set it as soon as we hop back in. I just got my view set up perfectly. I hate to set up my view and then jump right back into the cockpit. <laughs> STDs for you and me, Quasimodo. Yeah, with you, AT. All right. We are just about there. I still see some eligible users popping up in there, so we'll let it roll for another second or so. Let's go to standard Barrow, two niner, nine or two is set. You know what, I'm gonna, I will officially roll it when we reach 27,000 feet. So we got a uh, 600 feet to go. Remember, you only enter one time. Two niner, nine or two is set. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh. You scared me, Niels. They pinged me there on Vatsim. <laughs> I thought I was someone was signing in and I'm gonna have to do a VOR cross radial position report or something. All right, 200 feet till we roll it. 200 feet till we roll it. Here we go. 26.9. And flight level 270, roll it. <laughs> Shaquille Oatmeal has won the giveaway. Shaquille Oatmeal. Are you in chat, my friend? <laughs> Shaquille Oatmeal, always hanging around the streams. I love seeing him. I, I've tuned in a couple times to some of your... Your streams as well, Shaq. I always see, I see you posting them in that community stream portion of the Discord. Are you around, my friend? Oh, he's a team member. <laughs> Uh-oh. The drama begins. He deserves to win it with a name like that. The drama begins. He's a, is he a team member? We need to re-roll. <laughs> Shaq made a boo-boo. <coughs> Dougal, is it official? We need a re-roll. All right, re-roll, he says. All right, here we go. We rolling. We're gonna re-roll. All right. So I'm gonna can't. Oh, well, actually, we'll leave it. We'll leave the same. All your entries are the same. We're gonna re-roll it. Here it goes. The re-roll in three, two, one. Stand by. Arm altitude select. Whoever said that, you're a freaking legend. Thank you, sir. Altitude select is in amber. I'm gonna roll the speed back a little bit here, so we can actually get up to 31. All right, here we go. Rolling it. Adam RF. Adam RF. Are you in the chat, my friend? Adam RF has won the giveaway. <laughs> Shaq, you're going to go get a lotto ticket. Awesome, man. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. No team members allowed. Next winner is Adam RF. Adam RF, if you're in chat, I need you to first off say something in chat so we know you're still here and active. And then Dougal McTavish is going to be posting his contact information for you. We're going to have to roll this speed back. We're never going to get to 31. All right, so I'm going to keep flying the airplane. It looks like we just went over the top of the VOR. So now we're going to track outbound. But now what I gotta do here is I'm actually gonna pull up my charts. So from BTO, the course, there's a thousand to go. Magnetic heading was three. So I actually wanna track the 003 radial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 003. I'm gonna go heading select here real quick. We're gonna track the 003 outbound. So we're gonna be going VOR to VOR on this one northbound. Adam RF is in chat. There's his message to you. There's Dougal. There's the contact information. You can email or Discord, and he's going to get you hooked up. 
Dimitri says, V1 Dougal and I share a common past, shall we say. I had zero doubt for his character and heart since day one of our getting together. Dimitri, I agree with you, man, I, 100%. I wear a little bit of what you guys were about, and I 100% agree, my friend, 100% agree. I had When, when Dougal said this is what he wanted to do, it's like, hey, if anybody can do it, it's going to be Dougal McTavish. So let's go nav, altitude select, VOR tracking, the 003 radio northbound, and we're leveling 310. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to our cruising altitude. He says, uh, he says he's here, Dougal. I saw him. I saw a message come in. I'm going to wait for you, Dougal. So we'll go ahead and turn off the seatbelt sign. And you know what? We're in a 727, so screw it. Smoke them if you got them, friends. Smoke them if you got them. I do want to make sure we are completely set up here for our cruise. I'm going to bring this power back just a little bit. About 2,700. So let's bring it back. One point eight five on the Eper should be pretty close. One point eight four. Let's see where that leaves us. Hopefully, we don't start overspeeding. You got him, Dougal? Awesome. Gustavo says, that's why I see, say the jet curves on FlyJ Simmer were off. You should easily keep 1,500 feet a minute at 7, 8. Even at this load, Gustavo, you think so at this, at this load? This aircraft does not have a cabin, unfortunately, PD. <laughs> Al W actually smoked on a 727. Hey, somebody picked up on it. Yeah, you are now free to smoke. Unreal. <laughs> smoke here in Canada, that would mean a different type of tobacco, eh? I hear that. Gene R. Hoffman is lighting up a stogie. Hey, it's the Simwing's final ride. We don't care about those HEPA filters. We're going to clog them up. So the, uh, yeah, that's what was one of the biggest, other than it being, you know, health concern, obviously, but smoking on airplanes, the, the cabin fans and the, and the filter, the filtration systems would get so dirty, the cost of replacing them was actually relatively high. So I know the HEPA filters that you have now in modern aircraft, like the modern Airbus, I mean, they will, they will filter out. Almost, I mean, 99% of, of particles going through the air. It's pretty incredible what they can actually filter out. And if you guys remember, I believe it was the Swiss L10, was a MD-11 that crashed up in the, in northeastern Canada, Halifax. They had that far, that fire on board, right? And they could smell smoke, but they couldn't. There was no smoke in the cockpit. They couldn't find out where it was coming from, but they could smell it. Well, when they turned off the uh, the research fans that were going through the, the filtration. The, the cockpit just filled with smoke. So it, it actually filtered smoke out. <laughs> Andy says if the airplane is smoking, we might as well. Be the Eagles at your airport, you have an abandoned 7-2? Yeah, I've seen quite a few abandoned 7-2-7s seven just for fire, fire support. I know a lot of the fire marshals and stuff, they train on them. Look at that, we're cloud surfing, that's pretty cool. Look at that cloud surfing in a 727. Trying to find a better view. I like this this uh, livery method. This livery is pretty sweet. Mackin says, how was to rotate MD-80 when you come in at 200 knots and successfully come down to 143 miles left to the threshold? Whew. You know, from I don't know exactly if those numbers are correct, but from what I've been told, guys that flew the MD-80, I mean, you could really use and abuse it and slow it down and get it down quick. 
There will be another giveaway uh, in a little bit, be the Eagles, as soon as we make our crossover point. How's that? We'll make our crossover point on the VOR, which I should probably check right now, see our distance. Lauren V said there was an incident with the China Airlines 74200 that caused a whole breach between the tar buildup and poor maintenance. Wow. We should probably also make sure we're not overspeeding. All right, so we're doing eight, three-ish mock here. 2,700 pounds an hour, 50 miles from the Bonito VOR. Our next VOR that we want to tune in is Cozumel, 112.5. So let's set up 112.5 here, 112.5. Put that in the standby, and I'm going to set it up here for nav two. Always want to try to navigate off nav one unless you're doing, you know, multiple procedures. All right, so DAB2 is still out of range. We're 53 miles. This is a pretty expansive gap that we have to cross. So you can see here we're going from, from Benito, I believe, to Cozumel. You can't even see it on the map. It's about a 280 miles between VORs. So at about 150 miles, hopefully you start seeing some DME here in DME2 because you gotta look, think of the service volume of the VOR, make sure it's a proper service volume. And you can actually identify it from that range. But theoretically, we should be okay. And then Cancun VOR is gonna be 13.6. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set 13.6 in the standby for NAV2. There's no way I can pick that up from now, right? Yeah, nothing yet. So. But we're looking for Cozumel 112.5 will be our next frequency. 13.6 will be the frequency after that. We're currently tracking off the Bonito VOR. Northbound 22.8, we're in nav mode. We are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and activate altitude hold here on the flight director so you can verify that. We're kind of in and out of some clouds up here. But it's minus 50, so we should be It's above minus 40, so we're good on the anti-ice, in theory. Let's go back outside, shall we? Wojtek, I totally agree with you, man. Never thought yellow and gray would look so good. It just looks like, I don't know, sporty. Man. I, I don't know, something about that gray and the yellow on there. Wow, we may have to step climb up here a little bit, get out of the tops. Real plane be guzzling 3,000 pounds per hour to Cape 82 at 350 three, to go at 85, 27, 787. Okay. Interesting, Gustavo. Yeah, so maybe it is a little bit off. Tom, you got lost in Cozumel with a leaky roof? Or in a Jeep with a leaky roof? That's an interesting story I want to hear about. So as soon as we reach our crossover point, we'll do our, our next giveaway. That'll be at three. Then we're gonna do one on the descent, which will be four. And then we'll do one on landing, which will be five. Right, Dougal, are we on track? Are we, are we tra is that my math correct? Camp says off topic is an issue. Is it not an issue to describe the soft go round procedure in 321? Yeah, Captain, if off topic. Oh, if off topic, not, no, that's not a problem at all. Camp 321. Let's talk about let's talk about that right now. Let's hop inside for a little bit, give our ears a rest here as we cloud surf over the top. So hopefully the audio is okay for you now. Uh, and actually, let's look out this wing view, shall we? Oh yeah, look at that. Should we go trailing edge? Trailing edge. There's the juice right there. So Cam, never no worries off topic, man. This is what I like. I love discussing this stuff. So soft go around on the 320, 321 Neo. Basically, all Neo aircraft are capable of soft go around. Uh, I think it was introduced with the 321. I don't remember where, where it came in from, but I know it's on the 320s because we have them on our aircraft now as well. It was a software update. So the go around, we've talked about go arounds a little bit in the Airbus, but where the soft go around came from was what we call an intermediate altitude go around or a high altitude go around. So when you guys think go around, you might just automatically think, well, close to the ground, I've hit minimums 200 feet and we got to go around, right? Or maybe you have a bulk landing and you go around, which is all fine because if you're climbing up to three, four, 5,000 feet and you're, you know, a couple hundred feet off the ground, you've got some time, you need to climb, you need clear terrain. So you need that all the engine thrust available to get you up and away from, from the ground. 
but an intermediate altitude or a high altitude go around, let's say you haven't even started on the ILS or I'm sorry, on the glide slope, or maybe you just captured the glide slope and you're coming out of 1500 feet and ATC instructs you to go around and the go around altitude is at 2000 feet. This is a prime example. This is what we actually train for in the sim. This is what we use a Seattle one six center for this exact procedure. Cause you, you capture the glide slope around 1500 feet. The initial go around altitude is 2000. So that's only 500 feet. So if you were to go full toga at 1500 feet, before you could even announce the FMA, you'd be blowing through your altitude mode. And theoretically, what should happen is the airplane should capture. But then if you're still in toga, you're going to start overspeeding the flaps, gear, and all that is just going to get a mess. So soft go-around is essentially you when you know you're in a position for a soft go-around, what you do is you advance the thrust levers to toga, and you immediately bring them right back to the climb detent. So you have to cycle the thrust levers to toga to cycle the FMS. Once you hit toga, the box is now in go around mode. So it's gonna load your go around procedure. It's gonna load all the stuff for your go around, whether it be the hold or if there's a LNAV path you need to follow. It's gonna load all that up. It's gonna cycle the box. And then as soon as you bring it back to climb, it's gonna go GA soft. So what go around soft does is it guarantees a, a little bit less of a climb gradient than you would have at, at full toga, but it's still enough to clear obstacles. I can't remember the exact specifics on it. I, and I didn't bring my iPad to the office today, of course, because I figured I was in the 7.2. I don't need a, my Airbus stuff. But essentially it gives you terrain, it gives you a guaranteed climb gradient, no matter what, if you're in the soft go around mode, but it limits that thrust. So it slows the whole go around procedure down. So if you're at 1500 feet, I had to do this in Chicago, not long ago. I don't remember what altitude I was at, but essentially I only had to climb three, three or 400 feet for a go around. So I did the soft go around. I went toga and then I brought it right back to climb. And it just says, uh, I think it says, man, GA soft, like go around soft, I think is what the FMA says. And it's a much slower go around process, which is nice, is which you, you definitely need that when you don't have a lot of altitude to deal with. So it slows it down, you level off, it's much less violent. You know, if you go full blown toga 300 feet out star, before you announce that FMA, you're gonna be overspeeding your flaps. So that's what the go around soft came from also has to do with the pitch up moment the neo when you're depending on weight and cg if you do a full toga it does have a tendency to pitch up a little bit more even than the standard ceo but having that reduced thrust will also minimize that a little bit as well so it's better all around and it makes it go around much easier to execute from an intermediate or high altitude Maxim, yes, but you're probably already going to be above thrust reduction altitude, right? So if you're at if the thrust reduction altitude is probably a thousand feet here in the state. So if you're at 1500, you're already above it. Now, even if you're equipped with man uh, with uh, with GA soft, if you're out of the parameters, it's still going to give you man. It's still going to give you uh, go around. And even if you are outside of the parameters, but say you want maximum thrust and you don't want the soft go around, you just pump the thrust levers right back into toga, and it's going to give you max toga. Longest flight that I've flown in real life, probably close to eight hours, man. I think we blocked like seven, seven, seven something. Ever consider flying to Saint Dumont? I will need to for sure. Tom says I was on a cruise. One stop was in Cozumel. We rented a Jeep there because the excursion got rained out, drove all over the island, proceeded to get lost in the city. <laughs> wow. How do you get wing views for the flight, JSIP? I just use the X-Plane default camera system. Not a problem, Cam. Andre says, even though I fly a lot for work, I still haven't been in a go-around. Most passengers are a little bit leery of the go-around. But it's really not a big deal at all. Well, we're going to have to bring the power back a little bit more here. Let's come back to 2,500 on the fuel flow. Doing about 8.6 mock. This airplane is so fast. All right, 169. So here we go. We're approaching our crossover. Now, on the chart, it will have a crossover point when you need to switch your VOR. If you don't have a crossover point, just pick the middle. Just pick right in the middle. So 
where one, as soon as these DMEs match up is when we're going to swap over to Cozumel and track inbound. And then we have to do another giveaway, and then we have to prep for our descent, because, ladies and gentlemen, we're flying into a hurricane, by the way. And I don't know why I'm not picking up any radar. Let me, uh, there it is. If I get the camera over here. I'll turn it back on. I turned it off. Tilt down a little bit. It was painting something there momentarily. Hopefully it'll reload it in. But yeah, we are flying into Hurricane Grace, by the way. McKinn, welcome to Private Pilot! Exclamation point, welcome for information on your new perks. Glad to have you to the channel, my friend. All right. <laughs> you actively want one, Andre? Uh. All right, here we go, guys. So we can get ready to swap over VORs. So the next giveaway is our cruise giveaway. So we're gonna cancel this one. We're gonna come up with a new keyword. How about... How about... Um, about simlings. In celebration for siblings. Exclamation point. Sim wings. Will be the new code word. Uh, get yourself entered. You only need to enter one time with the new word. And why you guys start doing that, I'm going to swap us around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sync my heading. I'm going to go heading mode. Heading select. I'm going to swap my VOR, 112.5, and I'm going to track directly to the VOR. All right about there, and we're going to go back to nav mode. So now we're VOR, loc, or yeah, just VOR, VOR, altitude hold mode, tracking the 358 inbound. Q8 pilot. I saw that, that, uh, Super sticker there before it got spammed up with the Sibwings entrance enters. But thank you so much. QA Pilot has entered chat. Absolute legend. Thank you so much, QA Pilot, for a massive $50 uh, super chat. I really appreciate that, sir. Glad to have you on board. Q8, definitely part of the Sibwings community as well. Uh, his logo is out on front of this airplane. Whoa, ears. Well, I apologize for that, guys. Definitely uh, did not. I was doing so good. I was doing so good. There's the legendary Q8 pilot logo. Love your logo, sir. Also a Simwings member. I really appreciate your support here on the channel, Q8. Thank you so much, my friend. I am itching. I am itching for that 74200 from Fellas. That was, I saw that stream, man. I am just itching for that bird to come out. I cannot wait. But Q8 pilot, absolute legend. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support, my friend. Oh no, I made siblings a command and it's a nightbot command. <laughs> can we time out can we time out uh, nightbot for spamming the chat? We're gonna have to time out Nightbot himself. Rip ears but worth it, Gino. <laughs> All right, while you guys continue to enter, I also have to do some mental math here thinking about Cancun. So we are gonna be coming in a full procedure here for Cancun. So now I'm gonna set my 13.6 and DME2. Perfect, I actually have DME2 already, oops. And I just saw lightning out there. So I already have Cancun selected. So instead of going to Cozumel, we're gonna go straight to Cancun, which is 13.6 nav on one. And we're going to track directly to Cancun VOR. Now that we're tracking to Cancun VOR, I'm going to get rid of these charts. We have to set up for a full procedure ILS into Cancun, which no weather information is available, but Active Sky is telling me Hurricane Grace is in the area. Winds are variable at 7, which is not bad. Fog, heavy rain, a broken 3,000. Remark, Hurricane Grace. 
Expected winds 171 at 67 knots. Oh boy. All right, so let's go ahead and load up the arrival. Nope, uh, we're going to do approach. We're going to do the full blown approach, runway 12 left, ILS 1, which allows us to come in over the top of the VOR. So the VOR, we're going to do a full blown procedure here. This is off the top of Cancun. The 327 outbound from NCP, 9 miles or 9.5 from Cancun. So we want to track the 327 outbound. All right, basically we want to cross Cancun at 3,000 feet. So as you guys are continuing to enter, Q8, thank you for your kind words and your massive contributions. Q8, thank you, sir. I really appreciate everything you've done, my friend. And I'm just, I'm thrilled that you're, you still pop into the streams from time to time, man. It's Without Q8 Pilot, I never would have made the switch, and I probably never would have even pursued X-Plane. So, uh, Q8, I can't thank you enough, my friend. All right, so we're at 31,000 feet, and we have to be at 3,000 over Cancun. That's 28,000 feet, so 28 times 3, that's 84 miles. And we're in a 727 descending in a hurricane, so I'm going to increase that. Let's call it a 15-mile buffer, so at 100 miles simple easy math 100 miles from cancun we're going to start our descent down to 3,000 feet so i got my top of descent plugged in our radar looks absolutely scary so we're going to go ahead and turn the seatbelt sign on i'm going to let you guys keep smoking back there because we're going into a hurricane so you might as well just ride or die with this one the prize for this giveaway is 100 dollars Gustavo, 90 nautical miles. Yeah, that, that would be if I was uh, uh, fully capable of flying this airplane. I'm going to give myself an extra 10-mile buffer. <laughs> I'll probably forget and end up descending late anyway. But All right, looks like we have most everybody is eligible. As we get ready to roll it, I'm going to set 3,000 here. As soon as we start our descent down is when I will... We'll roll of the next winner. So right now we're tracking 359 to the VOR, 123 miles. I want my descent at about 78, so I'm actually gonna start backing off a little bit here. Let's back it off to about 106 or 1.6 EPR. A ginger beer for you? <laughs> I can't believe no one even thought to tell me about the hurricane that's in Cancun. I swear, Cancun and this sim, we always, always have issues. Poor Nightbot is going to be exhausted. <laughs> there is the information. The winners will be M. Dougal McTavish. Or you can email him. And he is giving away another hundred dollars, and I, I didn't even say what they were for. It's hundred dollars to either uh, Sim Wings or what a Sim Market or uh, Org Store Google. I should have been better about that. I'm not sure what we have left or what you have left that you're uh, you're giving away. But what happens if you enter twice? Uh, nothing. You can only enter one time. Nightbot will only allow you. well, yeah, Nightbot only takes your first entry. So as long as you have entered Sim Wings, you're good to go. Gil, 1984, celebrating your three-month anniversary as a member. Gil, I appreciate that. Thank you for your continued support, Gil, 1984. Wow. Ever diverted to Cozumel due to weather? I have not. I have not. I've had it listed as an alternate before, I tell you that. All right, so let's move on about a 7-8 on the descent. Right about there. Why aren't we... Look at this cross one we picked up, guys. We are getting close to that hurricane, if not already there. All right. I'm going to go IAS hold. Altitude select mode is off. We're still tracking to the station. Nose is coming over. Reselect out cell. Altitude is armed. Walking that Eper back. 
we'll see what about a 60% RPM gives us here in the descent rate and then we're going to roll it. All right, are you guys ready? The third winner of the Sim Wings giveaway is going to be Triple Four. Triple Four. Are you in chat? Triple Four has won the giveaway. Just need a message from you. Just say something that you are here in the chat. Dougal has the information that you need for him. We have not lost an engine yet, Team Vodka, but we have just picked up a significant crosswind right here. All right, so that's about 1,500 feet per minute. I want about 1,800, so let's go just a little bit more. Right about 60% should be perfect. As we are descending, we are going to get our... Uh, heats on here so we've got that let's go left and let's get our wings on as well all right end wing and anti-ice is active we're having a hard time starting to navigate we may even have to slow to seven six in this Right, look at that, it's having a hard time with the wind shifts here and the descent. Radar looks a little bit scary. There he is, he's here, triple four is in the chat. There's your information, triple four, DM Dougal McTavish or email. And I will wait for uh, the official word from Dougal himself when we are ready to rule the next one. Until then, we are on the descent. Let's start prepping for the ILS. So we're going to cross Cancun. There's multiple ways to identify this procedure turn. You can do it from, this is where you got to be careful. So INCP is the LOC. Nishputi or Nichut, whatever the heck this is, is also NCP. So you have to make sure you're tuning the right one. There's NCP and INCP, and the DMEs are different. We are going to try to do most of our stuff off the INCP localizer, ILS DME. But for Cancun, 13.6, we're going to do 13.6 until passing the VOR. Then we're going to track the 327 outbound. We're going to track the 327 outbound until reaching 9.5 from Cancun. And then we're going to make a left turn inbound and intercept the low. So that should be pretty good. It should be self-explanatory. 125 on the approach course. The glide slope intercept on the path is 1400. DA is 250. We'll set our DA bug there, 250. We have 13.6 for Cancun. The localizer frequency will be 110.7, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up right now. 110.7 is set. I'm going to back this up. I no longer want Cancun VOR because I'm not using it. I want 110.7, and I also want Nishupti, a nincompoop. I'm going to hard tune nincompoop here just as a backup as 14.8. So I'm going to leave 14.8 there for now. So now my DME2 will be off of uh, the nincompoop VOR. We're gonna track 327 outbound after crossing Cancun, which is the 13.6, which we have hard tuned and we're already tracking. 66 miles to go, we need to cross it at 3,000. 23 minus three is 20, 246, 60 miles. We should be at uh, 23,000, so at 23 we should have been at 60, so we're a little bit behind. Let's go ahead and increase that rate of descent a little bit more. Bring that thrust back. A little bit behind with mental math. So has this turned into a Hurricane Hunter fight, Chris? Yeah, 100%, and I had no idea. Like, this was all unintentional. I didn't even know there was a hurricane down there right now. That just shows how much I've been paying attention to the weather. I'm gonna foresight this out a little bit here.
Yeah, that doesn't look very fun. All right, 2,000 feet per minute descent rate at 20, it'd be 1918, 17. Math, 17 times three. 51, right? Yeah, 51. So at 51 miles at 20,000 is where we should be. Look at that, 20,000, 54 miles. So we're about four miles ahead of schedule. We're looking good. As we descend, our indicated speed window actually comes up. So you got to kind of be careful of this over here. You don't get caught because we've already went through crossover altitude. So now we're actually tracking indicated airspeed and we're in the ice. Let's set up our V speeds. We're going to go a landing. We can only do flap 30 now. They got rid of the flap 40 info, which was illegal. But flap 30 set 130 is our app speed. We may be coming in a little bit faster depending on what the winds are doing. Altimeter down there on the ground is 29 or 41. Pressure falling rapidly. 29 or 41. Look at that altimeter. Flying into low pressure. 29 or 41 is set one, two, and three times. Three down, two more to go. Triple four. Uh, DM is easiest. All right, awesome, Dougal. We are getting that rain on the windshield. The sim wing support. We're not going down without a fight. You're ready for heavy turbulence. <laughs> It's actually been relatively smooth right now, which is a little bit scary. Team Vodka, I don't think so. I think, <laughs> I really don't think so. I will say this, our last ride, Google, in the Simwing support aircraft is definitely a memorable one. We are in the wind. Okay, this is really starting to run away from me. Let's go a little spoil break action here. I'm going to try to shallow that descent right out. Actually, oh, so now we're diving. Stand by. Let's do this. We're going to level at 10,000. Out select is still armed. Yeah, we've been screaming down here. We've been <laughs> as soon as we hit 10,000, we're going to slow to 250. When, were I, when was I first interested in planes? Oh, man. Since I could see them <laughs> King Kong that's a great point maybe the passengers are second guessing a flight into a hurricane on a plane that says our last ride that's a great point oh shoot there you go. that's just the flight director all right so a thousand feet to level off and then we're gonna come back to 250 knots there's out star we, we are ripping through this A little bit of spoil break action here. Dougal says, all data received so far, ready to roll. Excellent, Dougal. Thank you, sir. A little bit of spoil break here as we slow it down. Oh, we're starting to hit some wing flex now. The wings are starting to flex out there. Verify all our ice is on, it is. You know what, we're just gonna leave that no smoking sign on. My question is, why can't I, I slow below 250 on my speed bug here? And there's lightning. Beautiful. All right, 3,000 is set. IAS hold. There we go. 20 miles out. Below 10, let's get our lights on. How come every time I'm in the 727 on stream, I feel like we're going to crash? Remember we did the 727 NDB circle to land in Europe on the Euro Tour? All right, we're still looking good. 20 miles out. About 2.30, that's fine for turbulence. We'll stow the spoid brakes. 
We need to rearm Alt Cell. You guys are going to learn to live and die by Altitude Select when that Q400 comes out. Alright, 17 miles to the VOR. We're going to cross it and we're going to be the 327 outbound. So 327. Alright, we've, we've got three down, two to go, says Dougal McTavish. Let's do one more. This will be the... Uh, that's three, right, Dougal? Dougal says, all today's giveaways are to thank you, the Flight Sim community, for supporting the Sim Wings project over the last two years. Wow, it has been two years. Yes, sir, indeed. These are all proudly sponsored by Sim Wings as they wrap up the project and give back to you guys. Absolutely fantastic. Super Aviation says, Captain V1, do not forget your landing gear and may the force be with you. Thank you so much for your dollar support, man. I appreciate it. We're going to try not to forget the landing gear, that's for sure. All right, that's because I'm at idle. I think there's a limitation for anti-ice and idle thrust, but how are we doing on temp? Oh, we're, are we above 10? Not quite above 10 yet, so. All right, I'm going to have to do this. All right, guys, the next giveaway is going to be the code word is going to be grace exclamation point grace in chat since we're flying into hurricane grace and we're nine miles out i really need to start slowing down dme2 is not picking up anything i know i am i am starting to get concerned about that maybe i mistuned it two thousand feet to go let's come back over here Nincompoop is 14.5, that's why. That should do it. Eight miles from Nincompoop VOR. We're going to slow to 200, 200 knots here as we level. 1,000 feet to go. Check. We're definitely going to have to do the final giveaway after we get on the ground because it's about to get real hairy. You know what? Why don't we do a hold? You guys want to do a hold? Let's do a standard VOR hold. We're going to hold on the 360, 3,000 feet until we complete this giveaway. I like that. Is there a published hold here? Uh, the only published hold is, oh gosh, math, is a 300 outbound, 305 inbound. So it's left turns, left add, right subtract. Basically, we come all the way back around to 125. All right, we're going to do a hold, 125. As soon as we cross the VOR. Flaps two. Oh, it's gonna turn it's gonna turn right on me. This will give me time to recycle everything. I'm gonna set it just like that. And there's a cone of confusion. Heading select. Left turn 125, our inbound course in the hold is now 305. Simwings 357, hold as published over the Cancun VOR until giveaway is complete, over. All right, so we're 3,000 feet. We're turning all the way around, 125 is the outbound. So we actually need to go 30 past that, so it'd be 18. I can't remember, I'm bad at holding. And we should be at, oh, Pan Ops is probably active too. Let's come all the way back to 180, flaps five. The inbound course is 305. Outbound is 125. This flight director is killing me here. Heading mode, there we go. And altitude hold on. Uh, this will give me time to get stable at 180 knots. All right, we're going to come all the way back. A little more power here. Gosh, my wife just scared the crap out of me. She just showed up in the V1 HQ. 
All right, I think I probably did the incorrect entry there, but this trim wheel struggling. What's our speed limitation for flaps 15? It's 215. Let's go flaps 15. We are starting to get beat up here pretty good. All right, flaps 15, 180 knots, passing the VOR, about to go over the top. We're on a parallel entry. So as soon as this flips, now we got to make a right turn all the way back around to enter the 305 inbound. After we go outbound for, we'll do two minutes. All right, so there is the flip. And it was, we're basically out one minute past. Holding in a hurricane. <laughs> yeah, that trim wheel is screaming. Mrs. Jungle says hello to you. Uh, so we're definitely probably at left of the course because the wind is pushing us. This should be over here, so I should be cheating to the right. Man, I haven't done a hold like this in a long time. We're actually north of the protected line, so this should be on this side. All right, but we're 180 stable. All right, here we go. We're gonna roll this. We're gonna roll this uh, giveaway here. I am not going to move camera views because I'm too scared to get disoriented here. So here we go. Three, two, one, roll it. Bon Bon Lee. Bon Bon Lee, are you in chat? Bon Bon Lee, we need a message from you in chat to say that you're still here. And then you got to hit up Mr. Dougal McTavish himself. And we'll get the giveaway and we'll do our final giveaway on the ground if we don't crash. All right, so there's one more minute. As soon as we get back up, the second hand gets up here, we're gonna make a right turn all the way back around to intercept the 305. Nope. Can oh, let's see, I'll make it. Cancun traffic, Simwings 357. We're in the hold as published over the Cancun VOR 3000. We'll be inbound in two minutes for the full procedure ILS DME 1 for 1-2 left Cancun. Bon Bon Lee, are you here, my friend? He is here, says hello in chat. All right, there's our timer. We're at 10 seconds. So now this is a right turn all the way back around to intercept the 305. But yeah, this in real life, uh, you, I'd be really you'd be sweating it because you're on the unprotected side of the hold. So this is not a tutorial on how to hold. This is more like a tutorial on how to not do a hold properly. But look at the lightning out there. And we're in a hurricane in the 727 single pilot drinking bourbon. So what do you want from me? Dougal McTavish says, Bon Bon Lee, please DM Dougal. There's the information for you on the chat. All right, let's get back to 130 for flaps 30. We're already at flaps 15. I like holding 180. What is our next flap? 20, flap 20 at 205. So I'm actually gonna go, because I don't like this AOA is pretty hot here. So let's go ahead and go flaps 20. See if we can lower that AOA just a little bit more here at 180 knots. Beautiful. Get that nose down. All right, so the wind is pushing us north of the VOR. So I have to actually come left. Look at this, there must be a pretty good wind here. I'm actually have to go left to intercept the inbound. Once we pass over the top of Cancun VOR, we're gonna track the 327 outbound. A little bit of power here, a little bit of power. She seems to be happier about 100, let's do 160 knots here. Man, I can't get on this. I can't get on this inbound course here. I cannot get on the inbound course. Come on, baby. Three miles from the VOR. I want to at least be on the view on the inbound as we go outbound. I think we're right. too might be too close. All right, Kona confusion. As soon as we get the two from flip, we know we got to track the three two seven outbound. It's starting to move. Traffic, Mexican Air Force 3931, taxi to runway 1 to right. Mexican Air Force is coming out after us already. 
All right, so we never did intercept the inbound course. So now we gotta, I'm just kind of cheating to the right here. We should be getting ready to go over the top of the VOR. Where's my two from flip? There it is, 327 outbound in the turn. We're taking this outbound until nine miles from Nincompoop or 9.5 from Cancun. So I'm gonna make, I know that wind is pushing me out of the south. There it is, there it is. Come back, come back. And nav it. VOR Loke. Oh, she's struggling. Well, two miles, so it's super sensitive from the VOR. All right, we're 160, flaps 15. We're tra tracking this outbound, crossing outbound. We can descend to 2,000 feet. So 2,000 feet selected. IAS hold, bring that power back. Now we gotta get ready for the inbound course on the ILS, which is 110.7. We have that ready to go here. We have that ready to go here. I'm gonna go 110.7 on DME2 now. Thousand to go, check. We're tracking outbound, we're at five miles, four miles to go. And we're gonna make a left turn inbound. The ILS. I know I'm not really paying attention to the chat right here, but I'm trying to keep us alive. All right, there's 2,000 feet. After we cross, after we make the inbound turn, we can go down to 1,400. Yeah, that's in the wrong way. Want to ride the Charlie? All right. Oh, we didn't have outcell armed. We missed it. We missed it. Capture 1900 for me. There we go, 1900, close enough. All right, there's eight miles. Here we go, I'm gonna go heading select. I'm gonna flip localizer, 110.7. Start the turn. Our inbound course on the loc is 125. Spin this bad boy all the way around. One two five, one eight zero. Connecting traffic, Mexican Air Force three nine or three one, parting runway one to right. We can descend to fifteen hundred, I believe, right? Fourteen hundred. Connecting traffic, Bureau five twenty two, only twelve mile final four, runway one two. Cancun traffic, oops, wrong button. Cancun traffic, Simwings 357, we are nine miles out, ILS, we're one two left, Cancun. All right, I'll slow down for you. Altitude select arm. Come on, we need to pick up that loke. Cancun traffic, uh, Medevac, uniform, kilo fox road, lining up and waiting, wrong we want to right. Uh, we're doing 140 right now. All right, 1400. Come on, man. Where's that localizer at? At seven miles, five, 1400. So we're all right there. We just, we just can't pick up this loc. Whoa! Speed, 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 speed. There it is. We're turning inbound. Auto approach. Loc armed. Let's capture the load. Flaps 30, clear down. That's a gear horn, I was late on that. That's my bad. All right, we're on the slope. I'm sorry, we're on the loke. 140. What's the minimum? Is it 250? Jeez. 
All right, here we come. Cancun traffic, Sim Wings 357. We're on a five mile final, one two left. Flare is on. Will it auto land? I think it will auto land. Should we see if it auto lands? Cancun traffic, Medevac uniform, Kilo Park Road, taking out from way one to right. Uh, Cosmos, one out for the park. Oh, speed, 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 speed. My flight director never caught the glide slope. This doesn't look very good, guys. Auto brakes, max. Thousand feet stable. Three mile final. Where's my windshield wipers? Where's my wipers? Where are my wipers at? Come on, I know you're up here. There we go. Wow, oh, that's annoying. We're low on the slope. 500 feet. We're tracking. I'm starting to see some trees out there. Oh my gosh, are those approach lights? I see approach lights. Oh my gosh, this is down to freaking minimums. In sight. Landing. Autopilot's coming off. Oh my gosh, that was the sweetest approach I've ever flown in X-Plane 11. Okay, wind. Yeah, check. Bank angle, check. Oh my gosh. That oh, the wind's got me. Spoilers. It was not a butter. Airbus flare got me. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Cancun. I have never flying to this airport on stream again. I'm re we almost had a butter. I'm telling you. We were almost there, and then I floated it, and then I just plopped it down. This said 309. I'm not sure what the other one said up on the top, but I knew it was firm. We almost had it, and then we floated. I'm sorry, you got cold traffic. Uniform Kilo Fox was passing 15,000 for level 410. That was an ILS to frickin' minimums. That was amazing. Cancun traffic. Simwings 357. We are clearing 1-2 left, headed to the ramp. Uh, Cancun. You're not clear of the whole short bars. You shouldn't say that you're clear of the runway. Alright, let's clear it. Let's clean it up. Stow that. Get the flaps up. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. That was a hard butter. That was swarm. Exactly. That was a froze, frozen butter. That's why I left the smoking sign on the entire flight, so you guys could just, you know, take it easy back there. But that's why I made the frozen butter emoji as I drift around this turn. So for those that sw that saw that listened to the Kawadi Monday podcast, we were right here. It was like right up the top of this bridge. This bridge isn't this hardcore in real life. It's not as steep. But right about here, and we slammed on the brakes, and that's when it went down. All right, but we do need to clean it up here. Let's get our lights off. Keep the taxi on, that's off, that can all stay on. We'll kill the wing light. Probably don't need the heats anymore. Right, flaps are up. I guess I'll prime the APU. Can I do it from here? No, I probably just did something not cool. There we go. 
all over the taxiways. All right, we got one more, one more giveaway. Well, we're gonna do it right here as we park into the gate. We're gonna take this next spot here on the ramp. <laughs> Slam Kenneth says, call me biased, but this is probably the most epic approach I've seen on any stream. Uh, Slam, it's the most epic approach I've ever flown. Look at this, look at, okay, so we're gonna go over our our path there. I want to show you what happened and what not to do and why we were off course a little bit. But that was the coolest ILS that I've ever flown on X-Plane with this weather. The weather was absolutely perfect. The way the approach lights came through, just the, just the, you saw the rabbit first and then you saw the rest of the approach lights. So absolutely epic, epic approach. It's, it's been, it was my number one approach I've ever flown on X-Plane. That, that just seemed so realistic. Uh, there's our parking thing. It's really hard to see. 10 meters, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Erp. Break set. Whew. Let's go ahead and kill number oop. 2. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Haven't heard from Bon Bon Lee, but run the final giveaway. You got it, Dougal. All right, here we go. Next giveaway, keyword, is going to be, uh-oh, what did I just do? Open like command mode of HTML. There we go. Next giveaway, keyword is uh, minimums, M-I-N-I-M-U-M-S, exclamation point, minimums is for the final giveaway. That was epic as all, as, as all hell. That was absolutely epic. Let's go ahead and secure the airplane here. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn the seatbelt sign off now. Beacon light can come off. We'll leave the logo on, strobe lights off, and what can we do back here? We'll go ahead and kill these, but we got to see the replay, but there may not be much to see. We'll kill those, and this needs to go to APU, APU, and those are full open. Shift F1 on the tailgate. Drops it open. Hey, there's that spirit bird. Awesome. All right, while you guys are getting the last bit in there, let me tell you why this was the most epic approach I think I've ever flown on X-Plane. Number one, my current winds, according to Simbrief, are variable. <laughs> I've never seen this. Variable at 67 knots, fog, and heavy rain. So, Hurricane Grace, that's, my, that's what my, my current sim weather is. Now, look at this. This approach, we try to do this hold. The wind was so strong out of the south here. As I made my procedure turn, I never got back on course. I should have tracked. I should have done a parallel, which I was, I was thinking parallel too late. But I should have, as soon as I made this procedure turn, I needed to have more heading to the right. So I could have intercepted the outbound course. Never did intercept it. So we flew on the wrong side of the hold. <laughs> Made the right turn back for the uh, procedure turn or for the inbound turn on the parallel. But I still never was able to capture the, the course because the wind was just that strong. Anyway, we didn't crash there. So we passed the VOR. Then we headed outbound. And then we made our turn in here and intercepted the ILS. Can it show the... Uh, ILS 1, 2, left. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So we stepped down from the VOR, captured the glide slope, and rode it down. Hey, we did pretty good. Not bad for a 727 single pilot. All right, here we go. Final giveaway. I'm going to roll it as soon as we start the replay here. Replay mode is active for you guys. 
We're going to disconnect from a VATSIM. We're not going to start sail just yet. Let's go replay mode. Let's go back to the cockpit. Yeah. All right, winner is going to be Max Rank. <laughs> Max Rank. Are you serious? Max Rank has been a big winner. Definitely going to light a cigar there, Mr. GNR. All right, so you can see here, I liked how the rain was actually coming off the windshield when we had the wipers on. It was actually working properly. Look at that. Just almost see the approach lights. So approach lights, you can continue. You can... So this is one, one misnomer here. I'm going to clear this up real quick. So when you see approach lights, you can continue the approach until you see the runway environment in sight. What continuing the approach means is you can fly the approach down to 100 feet above the touchdown zone. So not necessarily your minimums, but 100 feet above touchdown is 121. So now that I see the approach lights, I can legally continue to descend to 121 feet. And then I need to make sure I see the runway, such as the green... Uh, runway end lights there or the terminating bars or the approach or the touchdown zone so I still can't see it I'm past minimums but there we go so now I can see the runway I see the red lights there I see the the runway environment starting to show up and I'm below minimums but that's okay that's legal because we saw the approach lights prior to minimums so now the runway environment is in sight and you can land so right about here is 120 feet this is about this is, that's pretty low. That's 120 feet. That's as low as you can possibly go, but you have to see the runway. We saw the runway and now we landed. Let's take a look, see what happened here as we fly over this. Oh, we got blown out in the wind. Ah, see, look, we almost had a, almost had it. All right, we gotta go back here. Let's watch this. But I can't leave the runway view. So we're coming in. Look at the water. So right there, it should have been perfect. That should have been the butter right on the markers. I don't know if we hit a gust of wind or not. It's going 67 knots. What can you expect? And we just started to float. I think it was a gust of wind. Look at the, hold on, look at this. I think it was a gust of wind. Look at the windsock. So watch the windsock right here. We're coming in. Everything is pretty good. I go to idle. Uh, look at the windsock start to move. See it moving up? Maybe a gust of wind. Maybe a little overflare. That didn't look that hard, to be honest with you. But we got her down. Reroll it, says Max Rank. Really? You want to re-roll? All right. If he wants to re-roll it, max rank. What a way to be uh, to be selfless, man. All right, here we go. We'll re-roll it for you, Max. Max rank wants to re-roll. Here we go, Dougal. We're next winner, Jacob Hertz. Jacob Hertz, are you in the stream, my friend? Jacob Hertz, are you still active? Way to be awesome, Max. Says he already has everything he needs for the sim. Rerolling it for Jacob Hertz. Wow, oh, that one says 641, no way. That's cool. Gary Shepard says a big thank you to V1 and Dougal Simulations for all they have done. Hey, big thank you out to, to Dougal McTavish, man. This is all sim wings given back to you guys. Absolutely awesome. watch a couple love the weathering on those wings yeah I do too Gary Jacob Hertz is here he's here Jacob Hertz DM Mr. Dougal McTavish my friend I'm gonna watch a couple more of these and we're gonna let it roll out we'll get the music going as soon as I get the okay from Dougal 
I can run. Do we have? Did we ever hear from uh, the other gentleman, Dougal? You let me know, Dougal. We're gonna hang tight here. I'm gonna watch one more, a couple more here anyway. We're gonna go back here. Watch a couple more. <laughs> negative 641. That was not a negative 641. Jungle says, feeling all the kindness in this stream tonight. Thank you, Dougal, and the Simling Sing for all you have done. Epic stream. Absolutely, I agree. Watch a couple of these replays here. Man, I, we were so close to having the perfect landing. You know what I'm doing? I'm gonna, oh, look at that. Flex on that. Someone said 306. I love the 727 wing views. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to park ourselves. Let's park ourselves by the uh, by the windsock. Let's 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 observe the windsock on the. Oh, that's cool. Are you serious? Oh, this might be one of the most epic replay angles I've done yet. Oh, just that lightning flash. Come on. LW says spectacular way to sp to uh, to spend a rainy rainy day. You make DFW proud. Hey, Al W, I appreciate it, my friend. Glad you were able to light him up in the back of that 727. Are you kidding me with the lightning flashing? This is my new favorite view ever. Oh yeah, we had to hit a gust of wind. Either that or I suck. It could have been a little bit of both. Who knows? I'm gonna watch that again. I'm gonna watch that again. That was just too cool. Dougal says we're all good. Just need to hear from Jacob. All right. Just need to hear from Jacob. And then we're going to get out of here. Mod sponsors. Hey, Simwings. It's not even sponsors. It's Simwings. Dougal McTavish, you, sir, are the reason that this is possible. Everybody who's been, who's felt the love from the Simwings project, it's all due to Dougal McTavish. I hope I was able to do my part and at least get... Get some of these funds back out there for you guys. And I know we did our first stream in that 320 Neo, which was a lot of fun. And now we wrap it up with a 727 flight into a hurricane. I don't think you can get much better than that. You know, Dougal, huge shout out to you, my friend. You are absolutely legendary in the X-Plane community. That's cool with the rabbit say. Everyone else is hanging out in chat. If you're still here, please hit the like button for me on the way out. Really appreciate it. it does help the channel. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at look look look. Okay, look look look. So I'm not crazy. Windsock floats way up here. See, look at the windsock moving. So right there, it kicks way up, and we flop her down. Anyway, it's been an awesome, awesome flight. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I'm off to work tomorrow. I'll be flying for a couple days. So if you're a member, be looking for those YouTube shorts to be coming at you. I enjoy doing them. I hope you like them. Dougal McTavish again. I can't thank you enough for everything you have done for x and the YouTube community. You guys are absolutely all legends in my book. Until next time, I'm V1. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See ya.